Welcome to the 100% shiny electric Pokemon locations in the Teal Mask DLC. This is going to be our final video in the entire playlist, which you should check out, which has every other Pokemon type in the Teal Mask. And you should also check out the playlist that has every single Pokemon location and typing from the Paldea region. Just wanted to say thank you for everyone who has watched this playlist, and I hope that you all get your shinies in this video. So for the electric sandwich, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different here. I'm going to be grabbing a yellow bell pepper. I'm going to be grabbing myself some cheese. And then you can pick literally a uh, salty herba mystica along with any other herba mystica that you may want. So this is what I'm going to go for. A salty and sweet. Put in my pick. And please feel free to comment down below any other sandwich recipes that are going to be efficient for the electric encounter sandwich. Remember, you can also use encounter power two sandwiches that also give a very similar effect. If you did it correctly, you should have sparkling power. Power electric and encounter power electric. Also, there are some Pokemon that do blend in with the grass, so make sure you have your double home zoom in feature available. In order to turn that on, make sure to go to the home menu, go into your system settings, go all the way down to system, then go down to zoom, enable that, and when you do that, you can double tap the home button in your game to see if the Pokemon shiny or not. All right, let's get hunting. If you want to hunt some Pichus, a really good spot in order to do that is going to be at the Loyalty Plaza area right outside by this spot. So you want to be on the border of the fence about this area here. And what you're going to be doing is just heading down this hill. So when it says Apple Hills, that's when the Pichus are going to start spawning. Now, if you keep your angle like this and do a double home zoom in, it's a little annoying. So what you want to do is more angle your camera from top to down. That's a lot better in order to see the shiny. Now, the shiny for Pichu is going to look like this. So it's basically just a little bit more darker and a saturated compared to all these Pichus running around. So that's all you're looking for. A much more deeper color. Apparently some spawn by these trees. So you want to keep that in mind too. Like, hey, it could show up here. So you want to keep all your options open for Pichu. But really just going back and forth to that location after you check out all the Pichus is going to be a quick way of just resetting them all over and over again. So it'd be a, a great way to get your Pichu as fast as possible. So good luck hunting your shiny Pichu. Now let's talk about more Pico. There is going to be a really good spot all the way up from the Kitakami Hall in Pokemon Violet because this is a Violet exclusive to hunt down more Pico. Um, it's going to be all the way up from Kitakami Hall. So this is going to be like a town reset method. Now here's where the big problem comes in. Here's what more Pico shiny looks like on screen here. But the problem is that there's also Pichu that start to spawn here when you eat an electric sandwich. The big question about fixing this whole entire town reset method is how do we make it so it's just only more picos the answer is very simple all you have to do is pop a dark sandwich if you're a violet player and when you do that you should be able to get completely solo spawns just for more peco more pico how do you say that let me know in the comments below because that would be the best way and then just zoom in and look for the difference within the shiny and the regular one and you should be able to get one but if you're trying to dual hunt more pico and pichu this would be the spot if you're playing pokemon scarlet this location is it becomes one of the best Pichu hunting spots. Even though I did mention one earlier where you have to zoom in, this is kind of like different in both games. So I guess if you want to also hunt Pichu here, this is actually, actually I would say this is the better Pichu spot. I just couldn't say this was for Violet players as well. Just make sure that you're going to zoom in and see if it is a shiny or not because with the sun and whatnot, everything almost looks like shiny to me. So uh, yeah, you just got to double check and auto battle to make sure that's not a shiny. There you go. Violet players, you got a better spot than the Violet players for solo hunting Pichu. So good luck getting your Pichu. All right, our next location is going to be for Shinx and its second evolution. Now, if you're playing Pokemon Violet, you're going to bump into a bunch of more Picos uh, within Paradise Barrens. So this is where you're going to be going for this hunt. But if you're playing Pokemon Scarlet, the only Pokemon you're going to have to deal with here is going to be Luxio's and some Shinx that spawn here. So it's a dual hunt for Violet players. Here's what more Pico looks like, Shiny, just in case. But this is not going to be our solo hunting spot for more Pico. But for Scarlet players, yep, we're going to be getting a Shinx and the second evolution. Here is me actually catching a Shiny one over here. As you can see, there's nothing else interfering and it was just able to show up. Now, a second location for the Shinx evolution line is going to be in the Kitakami Wilds area, which is going to be just right north of the Fellhorn Gorge and right before the forest. The cool part about this area is that you're going to actually get the final evolution 
Luxrays to spawn in this area. And you get a lot of them that do happen to show up. Now, there is another electric Pokemon that does happen to show up here, but it's nowhere going to be close to the amounts of Luxrays and Luxios and Shinx that you see. So you'll once in a while run into a Charger Bug. You will find them here. The shiny for this one is red, but don't worry. I'm going to give you a way better location in order to hunt this one down. So we'll get to that. But mostly here, if you want to try to get a Luxray, this is the spot where you want to go. So Kitakami Wilds for this Pokemon, when you get a bunch of them in your site, you can go ahead and do some picnic resetting if you would like to quickly cycle through the respawns or just run around the area. I mean, it's, it is big enough where you could just explore and despawn out a certain amount of Pokemon and respawn them in. That's pretty much it. You're really just looking for yellow shinies when it comes to these Pokemon, so it shouldn't be too hard to get one. So good luck hunting down your Shinx, your Luxrays, your Luxios. You got this. The next Pokemon that we're going to be hunting is going to be Pachirisu. And this Pokemon's actually really simple to hunt. All we're simply going to be doing is doing a town spawn right over here on the map to the right of the Masui town. Town spawn in and out and all you're really doing is looking for a much more pink shiny. Uh, it's not going to be blue, it'll be pink and that's it. So the moment you get on Reveler's Road, just make sure you're angling your camera because you don't never know if something's going to spawn over there. Just take a look at the left. I get a lot more on the right side. So you get a whole group of them right over here. So like one, two, three, four, five. Here we go. There's six, seven, eight. Like so yeah, you can see a whole bunch of them spawn in this area so really just make sure to just check all of them real fast and then once you're done you're like okay it's definitely not as shiny over here you can just head right back into the town hop right back out back in revelers road and you'll get the whole group of them spawning again so check around check by this and you should be able to get one very easily with no problem so good luck getting yourself a shiny pachirisu if you haven't got it in Paudea already if you want shiny luck like that make sure to subscribe to the channel seriously it works so a really cool hunting spot in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet was going to be this entire area right over here in the Wistful Fields. In Pokemon Scarlet, you're going to be having a bunch of Pikachu spawning here. So this is what Shiny Pikachu looks like, as well as another spot for Charger Bugs. But you'll mostly be able to spot Pikachus. Charger Bugs are only going to matter once you do happen to see red. So in Pokemon Scarlet, if you are running around this area, you will just solely see these things when you go back and forth in this entire area going up and down. Now, the problem is for Pokemon Violet players, you're going to be bumping into a lot of more Picos here as well. They do spawn here. They kind of ruin the hunts for a lot of people. Now, I know a lot of people want to solo hunt Charger Bug. So what you're going to really want to do for this one is go to our bug video. Now, in the bug video, when you come to this exact location, the only Pokemon that spawn, especially during nighttime, is just going to be Charger Bug and Grubbins. That's it. You will not have any other Pokemon interfering with you, and it should be very easy for you to be able to hunt down for a charger bug literally you're just looking for red pokemon that's it for the shinies nothing else is going to bother you and it is a solo spawn so just keep that in mind bug sandwich would be the most ideal violet players you're definitely going to use the bug sandwich because you'll never be able to properly solo hunt one of these Scarlet players you might be able to get away with it in the pikachu area uh, with the charger bugs but otherwise this would be the spot where you'd want to go for this so good luck now while we're also here in the woods let me take you over to this spot because there is a very difficult Pokemon to try to catch in the base game in Paldea, and it's going to be electric. This Pokemon is so difficult to catch because it's just so tiny and Tynamo is very hard to catch but now we have an opportunity for you to catch an electric and you get a whole bunch of them that spawn over here. The only problem is the shiny is a little bit difficult to see but the amount available to you makes it a lot easier in order to catch. So here's what the shiny looks like on screen and you pretty much want to just keep your eyes in on this little pond area over here. So the best strategy to hunt down this Pokemon is either use a Pokemon that can float in the water and take them out while you kind of hang back or you can go ahead and do the zoom in trick by despawning them out and respawning them with the picnic reset so you can face the water area at a good angle where you can you know spawn in as many ones as possible and then go ahead and do a picnic reset that quick picnic reset will allow all the other ones to start spawning in the water again and then you could do the double home zoom in trick to kind of check it out and identify if there is a shiny pokemon in front of you otherwise just auto battle them all while hanging out down there and just keep respawning them in totally up to you what you want to do but this is the best way to hunt an electric entirely in the game so far so good luck hunting this now that you got all your shiny electric type pokemon in the teal mass dlc check out this video over here